YouTube family. Uh, I just wanted to tap in. Um, while I'm waiting on my passenger uh, to take them to the airport. <sighs> my heart. My heart is hurting right now, y'all. When I say um, that the spiritual attacks on me has been relentless, that's exactly what I mean. It has been just one attack after the other. And to boot, the relationship that I've been in, well, November 18th would have been a year, but it's no more. I know God got something big, bigger, and better for me, but it does not take away. The hurt it doesn't take away the pain. I know he got something bigger and better for me. <clears throat> What I say, my breakthrough is so close, or I wouldn't keep having these attacks on me coming from all which way. I wouldn't be having these attacks, And he's coming full force. I mean, he's using people I care about, I love. Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I've been in this relationship, which really, I thought in my eyes was, um, the best relationship I've been in uh, ever but I guess that's just thus far because um, and I'm, I'm not putting him down or I'm not going to bash him because he is a good man um, but I'm a good woman and just because two people are good that doesn't mean that they're good for each other I was going back and forth and I was thinking, I'm like, man, what uh, I wasted a year. He pursued me, first of all, you know. Um, I don't know, you know, people evolve, um, which we are what we are supposed to do. We're supposed to evolve, we're supposed to do. Um, evolve I think into being better better people but um <clears throat> he said he just wasn't cut out to have a girlfriend right now because he had too much going on and with me the type of person that I am like I go full force full throttle like you know I, I, I'm in my 50s so I'm Gen X, so I don't have time to be lollygagging, playing games and things like that. You know, um, my end goal is if God um, blesses me with a husband, 
that would be amazing but I'm not I'm not I don't want a husband just to say I have a husband I want a man that loves God because I know if he loves God he's gonna love me properly you feel me so um but if if whatever God got for me I'm I know that's he's preparing me he's preparing me but like I was saying um I don't play around when it comes to relationship I, I believe in catering to my man I believe in making him feel like a king. I don't half ass, you know. So in relationships in the past, and I've been in some pretty toxic, abusive relationships, uh, whether it was physical, mental, emotional, I feel like a lot of other things I brought on myself because <sighs> we attract I truly believe in law of attraction we attract what we are who we are so most of my life I felt broken like a misfit like I just didn't belong anywhere <sighs> weak so naturally me feeling the, those things I was attracting predator after predator after predator after predator. Um, and I can definitely tell a difference looking back at, as I started um, valuing myself more, better things were coming my way. Um, and like I said, with the um, boyfriend, I just had um, for the past year um, he was a good man he just just wasn't for me and I feel like God is clearing clearing things out he's clearing things out for me um <clears throat> living situation my transportation situation my my uh, love life my finances I, I feel like he's prep, prepping me for my breakthrough and That's the only thing I can think um, that I, I'm, I'm trying to look at it from a positive perspective. Like what, usually when fuck up, fucked up things happen, I usually try to look at it like, what is this teaching me? Well, why am I attracting this or what's going on with me? One thing about it, I'm I don't when I when my previous relationships were over. Okay, my my ride is here. I'm gonna have to come back, guys. I love you guys. I'll I'll, I'll come back. <sighs> okay, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, fam. I told you, there ain't no frills over here. Um. But like I was saying, um, yeah, I, I feel like God is removing things in order for me to prosper and go forward. Um, and he's prepping me for my breakthrough. That's, that's what I really, really, truly believe now. Has this been feeling good to me? I mean, um, the financial situation, um, the mental stress, the financial stress, and and everything. Has it been feeling good? No. But um, I feel like anything 
I feel like when your growth doesn't feel good. I don't feel like growth is supposed to feel good. It's taking me out of my comfort zone. I have been very uncomfortable for a while. And to be honest with you, I I really feel in my heart of hearts that the breakup along with everything else is absolutely positively necessary. And I feel God is putting that on my heart. And it's not to hurt me. It's not to hurt me. It's to help me. Because God doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't want to hurt his, his babies. He doesn't want to hurt his kids. And, I, and the, the scripture that always um, reminds me when I feel like I'm going through stuff is Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, where he talks about his plan is not to harm us but it is to prosper us so uh, I always draw on scriptures and uh, I, I listen to a lot of um, spiritual YouTube YouTubers and, and videos um, as part of my Routine. Pretty much, really, all I listen to is spiritual stuff. Um, for the most part, I noticed that um, I've been drifting away from like secular um, music. I'm not saying I don't listen to it at all, but it's very, very, very sparingly now. Um, I don't really listen to um, or even the stuff that I watch really. It's geared more to spiritual stuff um, or either comedy. Something that's going to make me laugh. When I want, something about uh, laughing and laughter is very healing. And uh, so I do a lot of that. But it does suck going through what I'm going through right now. But I also know that I'm on the right path. And the enemy knows that too. And that's why he's coming at me so hard. But like I always say, I draw strength from God. And nobody's or nothing's bigger than God. So that's what keeps me going. I know this too shall pass. And I kind of like um, all morning... You know, and mind you, I'm I'm driving Uber, so I'm either doing Uber or DoorDash, and um, I find myself getting sad, and tearing up and crying and stuff like that. But and then there's another part of me that's like, you know, God got so much in store for me. Like, I know I'm a good person, and I know I have a heart of gold, you know. I don't want to hurt nobody. I, I, I want everybody to win. So I know God. I know God will bless me. He just wants me to stay the course. He just wants me to stay the course. And that's what I'm trying to do. I wanted to drink so bad yesterday. And I'm like, I'm not going to let... my emotions and old habits take me back. I mean, I really wanted to get drunk yesterday. And I don't want to go back to my bad old habits. I mean, God delivered me from the 
thing from these things for a reason, you know, and just for that I'm grateful. You know, I know God got some, some awesome things in store for me. So yeah. I'm pretty good. So now my focus is um, to just keep keep on keeping on with this journey I'm on. You know, becoming my best version of myself. And I do I love I love the, the version of myself that I'm, I'm going into. In my car, and then afterwards, I'm going to go over to my daughter's, hang out with her and my grandbabies. It always feels good to be around people that I know <laughs> beyond a shadow of a doubt that, that love me, support me, and want to see me do good. Plus, my grandbabies, they always keep me busy. You know, it's be good to get my mind off of and stuff and then I can go over there and chill, chill out, relax, play with them, talk, talk to my daughter, um, watch movies and stuff like that because I'm done with working for the day. Actually, I'm not done with working because honey, yeah, it's work. I don't consider it work all the time. Sometimes my, my grandbabies give me a lot of my money. I'm running on fumes sometimes, but you know what? I wouldn't have it no other way. I love being a grandma for the most part. <laughs> I do. I love being Juju. Um, so I'm sitting here um, charging my car. Um, for right now, but I, I, I. Um, stopped the last video abruptly so I wanted to come back and um, for those that mean well for me and possibly have me in your prayers and, and, and mean good for my benefit I receive it in the name of Jesus I receive it I pray for everybody, even people I don't know. I pray for my, my YouTube family, my YouTube community. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I want us all to win. I want us all to win, because it's enough for everybody. I'm not selfish at all. So. But anyway, y'all, um, I pray that y'all have um, a successful, serene, satisfying, sensational Sunday. Um, and I thank you guys. I noticed that my YouTube family is growing. My subscribers are growing. And I am truly, 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 truly have no idea. I'm so grateful. And I support you guys too. When I see uh, new YouTubers in the comments and stuff, I go and I subscribe. Um, so, um, stay tuned, y'all. Uh, we're all on this journey together. We're all on this journey together. So, I love you guys. I pray that you all have a wonderful Sunday and be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye.